HBCU game day back in Brave Boy Gym, running with the Golden Bulls for another home game against a tough CIAA North opponent. This time it's reigning CIAA champs, the Virginia State University Trojans. Now before we get into the highlights, let's check out VSU low-key giving us a dunk contest in the layup line, if I can even still call it that. Some dope throwdowns by the Trojans before tip-off. All right, early in the first, the Trojans getting it done on both ends of the court. Richard Granberry gets a nice steal, which leads to Kevin Williams finding Elijah Moore in the corner for the open three. Here we got Granberry again, this time with the block on Christian Kirchman. And you know what they say, you gotta reward the big man on the other end. Walter Williams hits Granberry in stride for the bucket plus the foul. Still in the first, Kevin K. Rock Williams starts to heat up. He hits this mid-range jumper, then takes it back a few feet and sticks the three. He finished with a game-high 21 points. JCSU struggled on the defensive end of the floor, but they were still making buckets in the first half. Here we see Christian Kirkman with a nice spin move in the up-and-under lay-in. Then we see Gabon Williams getting three of his 13 points behind the arc. We also got Robert Davis here with a nice lob behind the Spartan D to Malik Ford for the slam. JCSU on the move, Coach Joyner tries to rally his troops to close the gap before the half, but VSU heats back up before the break. Here we got Wayman Wright leading the charge. He sinks a couple threes late in the first half. Last play of the half, Ken Woodward looks to throw down the inbound pass, misses it off the back of the rim. VSU gets the ball back, and Trey Brown drains the three just before the buzzer. VSU with a big 52-29 lead at the half in Charlotte. Second half, Virginia State opens the lead up behind the play of Elijah Moore. Walter Williams gets the steal and finds Moore for the nice alley-oop. The Trojans would lead by as much as 30 at one point in the first half. JCSU was able to cut that lead in half by the final buzzer, but the Trojans still cruised the victory, 75-62. The VSU Trojans improved to 4-1 in conference play, while the Johnson C. Smith University Golden Bulls dropped to 2-2 in CIAA conference play. Stay tuned for more from HBCU Game Day.